gonna steal my bless you this morning for being here. We're just believing the Lord to bless in a mighty way today. Praise God if we believe we have a word from the Lord this morning. Believing God's going to touch. We're going to open prayer and just believe God to, to touch. We'll pray for needs at the conclusion of the service this morning. But just believe God to touch this service this morning. God to minister to needs and hearts and lives in this service today. Let me make a quick Announcements, a plug for our children's church. Sister Heather asked that you make mention that virtual kids camp is going on for the next few weeks. Uh, every Wednesday night, is it Heather? Every Wednesday night, six thirty on Wednesday night. If you have kids, you have grandkids, please plug them into that on, on our Facebook page. If you have any questions about that, you can call Miss Heather to get uh, some answers for that. But kids camp, going on virtual kids camp for the kids, something the Assemblies of God have put together to help us and work with this uh, to minister to our children. So if you've got grandkids, point them in this direction and we just believe God to bless everything that's done. Amen. Good to see Miss Barbara here this morning. Praise the Lord. Amen. Miss Barbara, praise God. Let's welcome the presence of the Lord into the service this morning. Our Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning. Lord, we pray your presence, Lord, fill this place. Lord, I pray your Holy Spirit begin to move, Lord, in the hearts and the lives of this people. Lord, we welcome you, Lord God, to take hold of this service. Lord God, I pray take control right now, Lord God, and minister to the hearts and the lives, the needs. Lord, let your Holy Spirit begin to shake us, Lord. God, and draw us all closer to you, Lord. God, what you will in our lives, Lord. I pray your Holy Spirit begin to shake us, Lord. God, let there be a shaking to take place in the church. God, awaken us to your will and your way, Lord God. Have your way. Let your anointing flow in this house. Let your anointing flow this morning to meet every need in every car this morning. Welcome, Holy Spirit, into this place, we pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, that name above all names, that name that demons tremble at the mention of the name, Jesus Christ, this morning. Have your way today, Lord God. Let your Holy Spirit flow right now. Welcome, oh God. Amen and amen. Come on, worship the Lord this morning with the church. The Lord is my shepherd.
is all for only you. The heavens declare it is you. It is you.
did Job survive hell on earth? Job that went through such persecution, went through such affliction, he fell to the ground and worshipped. He fell to the ground and he worshipped. Believe this morning, church, no matter what we're faced with, no matter what we're dealing in our lives, worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. David losing a young child. What did he do? He worshiped the Lord. Help me this morning, church, understand that God desires, no matter what we're going through, that we seek the face of the Lord. Humble yourselves and pray. Seek His face. Can I get an amen? man this morning you want to make it through tough times you got to give God the sacrifice of praise church you want to make it through those difficult times you've got to praise God and know that it's easier said than done but there's no other way church you got to understand the hardest praise is often the highest praise the most difficult times in our lives that we go through church if we begin to give God praise that is the highest praise that's how Job survived his darkest night on oh, this the soul of death of Job was attacked the soul was brought down church David survived in the wilderness for years that's what God did for Paul and Silas when they were in prison God moved in their lives you and I need to understand church we don't need to let what's wrong with, with us keep us from worshiping what's right with God. We don't need to allow what's wrong in our lives, what the difficulty that we're dealing with, to keep us from praising God for what's right in Him. Don't let the voice of condemnation keep you from worshiping God. When the devil condemns you, remind him of what his future holds. You've got to understand, church, the, the condemnation of the enemy that comes against us. we got to sing over it. We've got to sing over all the noise, all the condemnation. We've got to give God the song of our heart. If your worship is based upon your performance, you're not really worshiping God anyhow. You and I need to understand, church, that that kind of worship is a form of self-worship because it's based upon what we do. But I want you to know, church, is what He did on Calvary and what He's continued to do in my life. Praise God for His grace. In order to sing over a church, we've got to hear God's whisper. God's whisper in our lives. I learned to worship God by putting a song on and repeating singing it in my life. Hear me this morning, church. It eventually becomes a reality in my life. Praise God this morning, church. That times that I begin to sing that amazing grace, His chains are gone. To know that the enemy is defeated. You and I I need to understand church we've got to have that place in our lives I want you to understand this morning church so a few observations this morning about worship is first the hardest praise is the highest praise God loves us when we least expect it and least deserve it but we have a hard time returning that favor if you worship him only when you feel like worship Worshiping, you're worshiping less and less if you learn to praise Him in the toughest of times. The best is yet to come. Glory. Listen, don't forget you are His joy and He is yours. You are His joy, church. Secondly, whatever you don't turn into praise will turn into pain. Hear me this morning, church. If you internalize that pain, it, it only gets worse. A little offense can turn into a ton of bitterness over time. And before you know it, you're in a world of hurt. But church, if you complain about it, it turns into a compound fracture. I'm telling you, the enemy of your soul wants to 
keep you so bottled up that you'll alienate yourself from God and others. But the best way to deal with pain is to verbalize it unto the Lord. How, church, is to sing over it and to sing through it. Praise God. You say, but Pastor, I don't understand. You look at Paul and Silas. Church, they were thrown in prison, but they begin to sing unto the Lord. And it says the prisoners were listening to them. I want you to know folks are listening to you. Folks are watching you, what you're going through in your life. They're watching how you handle it. Listen to me this morning, church. Let's double all the way back to where we started here this morning, church. I want you to understand if your life is all key, maybe it's because you've been deafened by the negative self-talk that doesn't let God get a word in edgewise in your life. <laughs> Maybe, maybe you've listened to the voice of shame so long that you can't believe anything else about yourself. Maybe the devil has sung in your ear. The devil's told you you can't make it. The devil's told you you're not going to make it. But I want you to know, church, maybe it's the enemy's voice of condemnation that speaks lies about who you really are. <laughs> It's hard to hear God's voice when pain is screaming in our ear. It's hard to hear God's voice when that voice of condemnation, church, but listen, sing it like you believe it, praise God. Sing it, sing praise unto the Lord like you believe it, praise God. I'm telling you, church, do we really believe what we're singing? <laughs> Perhaps, church, we need to notify our face. Perhaps we need to notify our hands and feet. <laughs> Come on, somebody this morning. Understand where I'm coming from this morning. Church, I'm telling you, you don't have to act like this preacher. But you and I need to understand. We need to express our joy of the Lord. Express it to Him. Give it to Him. Listen, church. In that 16th chapter of the book of Acts, we find a mob quickly formed against Paul and Silas. A mob. It says the city officials ordered them stripped and beaten. And they were severely beaten. Then they were thrown into prison. The jailer was ordered to make sure they didn't escape. So the jailer puts them in an inner dungeon, clamps their feet and stocks. But around the midnight hour, <laughs> I believe that that midnight hour being mentioned there wasn't by chance, church. But I believe God wants us to understand at the darkest hour, at the latest hour, at the most difficult time in our life. Yet you and I can understand if we can begin to just give God praise and begin to sing and pray unto God. It says the other one's listening. Church, I want to go a little bit further here. I believe everything happens for a reason in our life. You and I need to understand, church. It says they had a captive audience around them. The, those in the prison, they were listening to them. And suddenly a massive earthquake comes. And the prison was shaken at its foundations. And all the doors immediately flew open. And the chains of every prisoner fell off. Listen to me this morning, church. The Luke tells us in the fourth chapter, it says the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor and church. He has sent me to proclaim freedom to, for the prisoners. Hear me this morning, church. I believe that God had Paul and Silas right where he wanted them for a great revival. Well, glory. You and I need to understand no matter what happens, no matter what we go through in our lives, that God is always in control. That God has us where we are, church. So lift up your voice and begin to pray and begin to sing praise.
praises unto him. Listen, church. <laughs> Philippians said, I'm not saying this because I'm in need. It's says, for I have learned to be content in whatever the circumstances. Sometimes God puts us right where He need, where we need to be, church, not where we want to be. Come on, let that sink in for a moment. I said, God puts us right where we need to be, not where we want to be. But hear me, church, to fulfill our destiny, His will for our lives. Praise God, church. I'm trading my sorrows. I'm trading my shame. I'm laying it down for the joy of the Lord. Give me praise this morning. Glory to God. Oh. I'm trading my sickness. I'm trading my pain. Laying it down for the joy of the Lord. Look, I'm pressed but not crushed. Persecuted, not abandoned. Struck down but not destroyed. I am blessed beyond, beyond the curse for His promise will endure. Are we willing to live? Or we are, are we living in fear? Are we living in faith in God Almighty? The mighty hand of God. Walking in God's promises. Walking in faith, church. Or are we allowing the overcoming of, of oppression in our lives? Listen, He knows what He's doing, church. I say God knows what He's doing. We've got to trust Him, church. I know me and my wife and my kids... We rode out Hurricane Ivan back in 2004 in our hallway of our house. Seemed like the walls were shaking. Want you to know something, church? Going through that night, my wife said we'll never ride out another one like that. We got up the next morning, trees down everywhere, highways and roadways covered in trees, homes obliterated, all of this church while we were crunk, hunkered down among blankets and, and, and mattresses. But you want to know something, church? Wasn't long after that went over trying to deal with everything, another tropical storm come through. We scrambled around trying to get things together, get things, make sure things were secure. Had some friends of mine talk to that they went through Hurricane Michael down in Panama City. Said, but a, a tropical storm came up a while back after that and said it's almost like PTSD begin to take effect in their lives. Post-traumatic stress in their lives. What's the point this morning, church, for us to understand something in our lives? Listen. What people tell you is when you survived the storm, you survived the hurricane, or you survived some bad weather, maybe survived abuse, even though the storm is over, it still rages on, church, inside of us. Hear me this morning, church, in our lives. That God help us the saddest thing in the world is to see a born again child of God who has been set free by the love of Christ to know church that no principalities, that no powers, no things present, no things to come, listen church, are able to separate us from the love of God. I'm telling you church, I want you to understand that scripture starts out. I am persuaded. I'm telling you this morning, church, we've got to get persuaded. I'm persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities or powers. Listen, some of us, church, need to fire the devil as our weatherman. We let the devil predict our day. We let the devil predict our circumstances but I want you to know my God I said my God is well able church listen to me this morning church oh as Solomon said because we watch the wind 
when a sower prepares to sow listen to me there's some of you you know when it's talking about that sower watching the wind because they have to sow with the wind if they sow against it it blows it back in their face there's some of you had a headwind long enough in your life the devil has tried to blow you down the devil has tried to keep you down and back church but listen to me this morning extra says for because my mighty hand he will let them go because of my strong hand he will drive them out of his land the sixth chapter of Exodus all says, I'm the Lord, and I'll bring you out from under the yoke of the Egyptians and deliver you from their bondage. And I will redeem you with an outstretched arm and with mighty acts of judgment. The 13th chapter of Exodus says, For with a mighty hand the Lord brought you out of Egypt. Deuteronomy says, By a strong hand, an outstretched arm, my great terrors, as the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your eyes. The fifth chapter he says, The Lord your God brought you out of there with a mighty hand, an outstretched arm. The seventh chapter of Deuteronomy, a great trial. You saw the signs and the wonders. But a hand, an outstretched arm by the Lord your God brought you out. Deuteronomy 9 says, Whom you brought out with your great power and outstretched arm. What am I telling you this morning? Verse after verse, chapter after chapter tells us that the mighty hand of God is still available for each and every one of us. The mighty hand of God. You say, but pastor, he's talking to Egyptians. You go on down to New Nehemiah. He says, for your service, your people, you redeemed them by your great power and mighty hand and Psalms 44 it says church not by your swords that they took the land their arms did not bring them victory it was by your right hand your arm the light of your face for you delighted in them. I'm telling you, Jeremiah says that your great power and outstretched arm, nothing is too difficult for you. My God, my God, nothing is too hard for my God. I want you to bow your heads this morning right where you had in that car. Jeremiah 32 says, for you brought your people Israel out of Egypt with signs and wonders with a strong hand and outstretched arm and with great terror this is the same God church if you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ you can this morning before you leave here even sitting in that car all you got to do is call on the name of Jesus call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the Lord. You're going through difficulty right now. Call on the Lord. Seek the Lord. Seek His face. Humble yourself before the Lord. Let God be God in your life, church. If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then I'll hear from heaven I'll forgive their sins and heal their land my God this morning he knows what you need call upon that name would you this morning wherever you are this morning would you pray this prayer with this pastor my dear heavenly father I need you in my life. God, forgive me. Come on, pray that with me this morning. God, forgive me for all my sins. Lord, cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Come and live in my life. Be what I need you to be, Lord, in my soul. Create a right spirit 
in me. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you be Lord of my life. Lord of all in my life. Today, Lord. Today, Lord Jesus. Glory. Glory, glory, glory. Come on, just the gentle. Praise this morning. Come on, Joshua. Glory, glory. Worship the Lord. Worship Him this morning. Glory. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Consulting the wrong sources for what our future looks like. <laughs> Seek the Lord. Seek His face. Seek the Lord of Lords. The King of Kings this morning.